Hey there, I'm Brandon72 Mo. Welcome to a GTA Online quick tip. This is the second part in answering the question from the gamer in which he asked, what is the best job, not heist, to make money fast? In part one of this series, we looked at how you can make nearly two and a half million GTA dollars each month through daily objectives. Today, in part two, we're going to look at high resale value cars that you can steal and sell at Los Santos Customs and how you can get the most money for the time that you invest. This video is a bit longer than most of my quick tips because there's a lot of information to cover. So let's get started. While there are quite a few customized gang and NPC modified cars roaming the streets of Los Santos, not all of them are worth a lot of money. Here are the best cars listed in order from the lowest value to the highest along with where to find them. First up is the Gang Tornado Convertible that sells for 12,575 GTA dollars. These tornadoes can be found in five different locations, all within a very short distance of each other. The first one, which spawns in green, is here in the Grove Street families area off of Forum Street. They'll often be parked or driving very slowly right where you see this Grove Street manana and rusted out tornado. The second tornado, which spawns in purple, is just down the street, either parked or driving in the cul-de-sac of the Balas neighborhood. The third, which spawns in yellow, can be found in three different parking lots of the apartment complex in the Vagos territory. These first three locations typically spawn fairly regularly between the in-game hours of 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. A word of caution though, stealing these cars from gang neighborhoods can result in angering the nearby gang members who will begin shooting at you. The Vagos are especially trigger happy, so be prepared to either have a gun battle or a quick getaway route. The fourth tornado, which spawns in silver, can be found a short distance away on Orchardville Drive, often parked to the side of the road or again driving in traffic. And finally, the fifth location, which also spawns a silver tornado, is located about halfway between the first two locations that I mentioned. It seems to help to be driving from the side street of Brogue Drive or from the cul-de-sac where the Bogles hang out toward the Grove Street family's neighborhood, where you'll often find it pulling out from a driveway. These last two spawn locations are a bit less frequent than the first three and typically occur between the in-game hours of 11 and 8. The second car, the Peyote, sells for $12,940 and can be found in green, purple, yellow, and red in the same locations as the Tornado. For those of you on old gen, these two cars are going to be the best you're going to find for making money through selling stolen customized cars. But be sure to keep watching because in a few minutes, I'll be giving you some tips on how you can make the most money from selling these cars. Moving on to current gen consoles and PC, the resale values start getting higher. First up for new gen is the Formula Red Sabre Turbo that sells for 15,035 GTA dollars. These spawn between the in-game hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. at all three Los Santos Customs in the city, though I seem to have the best luck with the Los Santos Customs that's located down by the Los Santos International Airport. By the way, the Sabre Turbo will also spawn in a customized worn sea-washed green, and while it looks cool, the green one only sells for 7,305 GTA dollars. Up next is the Slate Blues Sentinel XS, which sells for 17420 GTA dollars. Now these still occasionally spawn at the location that I featured in the first part of my Garage Tour series, but they spawn more frequently now right here at the Zero Gas Station on Calais Avenue. A yellow version of the Sentinel XS will spawn as well, but it sells for less, only bringing you 14970 GTA dollars. Continuing with more expensive vehicles is the Warren Light Blue Sand King that sells for 18 1,495 GTA dollars. These spawn in two different locations. The first spawn location is here at the Ron Gas Station, just off of Route 68 near the intersection to the highway at the Zancudo Bridge. The second location is also right off of Route 68, closer to Sandy Shores this time, in the parking lot of Larry's RV Sales. Both of these spawn locations will have Sand King XLs fairly regularly between the in-game hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. There is a yellow variation of the Sand King XL that will spawn fairly often as well, but it's worth slightly less, bringing you 17,525 GTA dollars. Next, we have the Ultra Blue Dominator. Like the Sabre Turbo, the Dominator spawns between the in-game hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. at all three City Los Santos Customs, though again, I have the best luck at the LSC near the LSIA. The Ultra Blue Dominator sells for $19,940 GTA dollars. 
And finally, we have both the gold and the chrome dubsta 2. It also has the same spawn locations and times as both the Dominator and the Saber Turbo, and both versions of the dubsta 2 will bring you 23,250 GTA dollars. For all of these vehicles, it helps to be driving the type of car that you want to spawn. For example, if you want to get a Saber Turbo, then drive a Saber Turbo. Or if you're looking for the Peyote, be driving a Peyote. It's also important to point out a few things. The Sentinel XS is the hardtop car, while the regular Sentinel is a hardtop convertible. Drive the Sentinel XS if you want to spawn that car. The same goes for the Sand King XL. The XL is the four-door version, while the regular Sand King is only a two-door. And for the Dubsta 2, it really helps to already have a Dubsta 2, but those don't spawn naturally in free roam. You could try driving a regular Dubsta, but your odds of finding a Dubsta 2 will drop quite a bit. If you want to see some unedited footage of the routes I typically drive to get any of these vehicles to spawn, check the links in the description down below. In those videos, you'll see me encounter numerous customized vehicles that you can steal and sell for decent money. These videos aren't listed on my channel, so you'll have to click the links down below if you want to see them. Now that we've looked at the best customized spawn vehicles to sell in the game, let's look at how you can really maximize your money. You're going to want to purchase a garage to store these vehicles in. Ideally, you want a garage that is both fairly close to the spawn location and a Los Santos Custom. There's a couple of reasons you're going to want a garage to maximize your money. First, by driving a stolen car into a garage, you automatically get a free repair of any damage that may have happened from accidents that occurred while stealing it. If you drive a stolen car directly to Los Santos Customs with damage, you're going to get less money for it. So drive it into your garage and get that free repair so that you can get the most money for each car. The second reason you want a garage is because a lot of these vehicles spawn over and over and over again. By having a nearby garage, you can steal several of each car in a short amount of time and have them ready to sell. Of course, there is the 48 minute cooldown period before you can sell another stolen car, so by having a garage, you can fill it with stolen cars, then go place submissions or jobs, then come back every 48 minutes and sell another car. Here are the best garages for each car type. For the Peyote and Tornado, I recommend getting the Supply Street Garage. It is a bit of a drive from where the cars spawn, but it's just down the street from Los Santos Customs. If you'd rather not spend the 135,000 GTA dollars for the Supply Street Garage, you could go for the Davis Avenue Garage instead for 75,000. This garage isn't as close to an LSC though, so be careful driving to LSC to avoid damaging the car. If you're going for the Sabre Turbo, Sentinel XS, Dominator, or Dubsta 2s, the Greenwich Parkway Garage is your best bet. It's right behind Los Santos Customs, which means it's very close to where the cars spawn and where you'll sell them. It's a little pricey, but you'll only need to fill it and empty it once before it will have paid for itself. And finally, if you're going for the Sand King XL, then you want 8754 Route 68 for 65,000 GTA dollars. It's not too far from where the trucks spawn, or from the Los Santos Customs on Route 68 to sell them. Before we wrap up this video, let's talk a little bit about which cars you should be looking for to make the most money in the shortest amount of time. If you're on old gen, you want to go for the Peyote. It spawns often enough that you should have no trouble filling a garage full of them in no time at all. Since it sells for 3,000 GTA dollars more than the Tornado, the Peyote is the best bet. If you're on current gen, it might seem like the Dubsta 2 is the more obvious choice, but it isn't. I would recommend going for the Sand Kings, simply because they spawn with far more regularity than the other current gen cars in this video. I have literally gone several days without seeing any of the other current gen cars spawn, yet the Sand King XL spawns nearly every time I visit either location that I showed you right in this video. Though it sells for less than some of the others, it's the better bet since you're going to find them more often. And for all of these cars, be sure to check out the GTA forums thread linked in the description below. That thread is frequently updated with the best spawn times and location for not only these, but all rare spawn vehicles in the game. So that's it for part two of GTA Online Quick Tips, Easy Money Fast. In part three, we'll take a look at how you can make a lot of money in a very short period of time using SecuroServe on current gen. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and get subscribed if you haven't already. If you have a friend who could use some help making money in GTA Online, be sure to share this video with them. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm Brendan72Mo on both Twitter and Facebook. And come hang out with us on the Vainglorious Forums at btyb.freeforums.net. I'm Brendan72Mo, and I'll see you in the next video.